Hello, this is Katana the Old Fart, along with my favorite high-tech random number generator. Today we're going to learn how to auto-mute TeamSpeak when you use the in-game push-to-talk. First thing we do is assign a push-to-talk button in-game, which I've already done. And we're going to use that same button to uh, add as a hotkey here. Now you click No Hotkey Assign and press the key. Now go to Show Advanced Options. Scroll down until you see Microphone. And then click Mute Microphone. Click on Keep Dialog Open because now we're going to add that and assign the key release to the same key. And assign that to Unmute. Click Add. Click Close. Presto. This key is push to talk in game and is also going to mute as we see here. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Now, one obvious problem is its head. It gets very chatty when you do that. So we're going to get it to shut up by going back to settings, options, and this time notifications, sound capture. Just uncheck those two. and now it mutes without telling you about it every time but there's one more problem if you mute and then start talking which is kind of likely considering what this is for it starts warning you with these little beeps sometimes it'll even pop up a message though that's not happening now that's easy enough to get rid of too go back to options this time application and uncheck where it says warn when talking while microphone is muted and now you can talk to your heart's content. Mute, unmute. Another thing that happens is sometimes uh, another set of friends will be in Ventrilo or Mumble or some other chat utility and I want to talk to them separately. In that case, we just assign a second key. And as far as I know, there's no limit to how many keys you can do this with. Sorry. Put on key release first, otherwise it'll pop up a warning. One last thing. One problem with this is if you manually mute TeamSpeak and then hit one of the push to talk buttons, say to talk in game, it'll unmute TeamSpeak. It's not a real problem, but you may not want whatever's happening to be transmitted through TeamSpeak for a little while. So what I do is assign a third button to simply mute TeamSpeak. One more. On key down. Show advanced. Microphone mute microphone. Click OK. And now I have a mute that does nothing but mute. I have two keys that will unmute it. No need to assign a fourth key for that. It's not a perfect solution, it's a mitigation. But if you remain alert or if you're not sure you don't have the window open, press the mute button. It'll always mute. Press one of the push to talks and release. They'll always unmute. And that's it for today.